I honestly don't know what is happening. Honestly, I don't. Um, welcome to my youtube channel if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is ore on this channel i talk about christian lifestyle i talk about faith and i talk about relationship if you are yet to subscribe please make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel make sure that you also click on the notification button so you get notified when i release new videos yeah into today's video today's video is uh more like a discussion right and i'm doing this question like you guys are going to talk about well yes leave whatever thoughts comments you have in the comment section so there was just one day i was going through x which is twitter formerly twitter i don't know if it's twitter or if it's formerly twitter but you should get it i was going through x and then i saw someone someone tweeted something around um so she said if you are 20 20 to 25 and you're still a virgin she said that's fine it's understandable but if you're 25 to like 25 upward and you are still a virgin it means that there is something wrong with you it means that it's either you're not attractive and it means that um no one wants you that's why you are still like a virgin right and when i read that scene i was like kilom popping sorry <laughs> what's happening why would someone you know just tweet this and there are many people out there some of them are you know they are teenagers some of them are young adults and they will see these things and they will start feeling like there's actually something wrong with them and they want to explore because you know teenage age comes with you comes with a whole lot of hormones right and they want to explore i think you understand why someone would switch that out there and that was that's why i just thought to say i just thought to myself that if someone can actually tweet that out there then i should be able to talk about this right i should be able to discuss this at least let people know that not everything you see online is um sensible not everything you see online is what you take not everything you see online is what you believe not everything you see online is what you accept and want to act on right majorly if you are between you are married right and you are between the age of let's say let's still use that age bracket 22 20 upwards and you're married it doesn't mean anything is wrong with you number one it means that you are pleasing god with your body i know a lot of conception out there is that oh how do i know if i'm sexually compatible with this person if i don't try it you can imagine if you keep trying you keep trying okay this person wasn't good let me turn to the other person and the other person is still not good you keep trying the other person is still not good what this is going to do is that it's going to mess up your like your state it's not because you're trying different people right it's just because it's more to your own disadvantage really because now eventually you get married right and you've already tried something out there let's say the person you get married to is not you know the person is not really meeting what you've tried out there there is something for you to compare against so you're able to compare oh i've tried tayo i hope nobody's tired of watching this video <laughs> so i've tried tayo i've tried um Pope. Pope performed like this but my husband is not performing like this so there is something for you to gauge but imagine you've not tested you've not done any of those let me see if we're sexually compatible let me see if he's good for me let me see if she's good for me you've not done that so it means that there's no picture of what you need to. There's nothing to benchmark against. I don't know if that makes sense. Whether your husband is um is what you want or not, you won't even know because you've not even tried it. So it's not your own, you know, advantage not having to go about to test. And that um reason why people say, oh, um, that is better for you to test is because you know they just you know let me just explore. My friend said being a virgin is old school. It's not old school. I know this is like one of the, like, it's really tough, especially if you are amongst like friends where, you know, everyone has just explored and they're calling you like um, Virgin Mary or they're calling you SU, that kind of thing. But it is not old school for you to keep yourself. It just means that you value your body. You can't just give your body to anything, like even gold. You can't just give your body out to anybody. The person has to have paid the price to get that. I don't know. The person has to have paid a price, enough price to get that. And the price doesn't mean that he's paying like money. 
right the price doesn't mean that he's buying you but for instance gold itself good in itself when you want to get a gold from the ground you have to dig the price to get a gold is your time is your effort is your consistency right now imagine you're just giving your body out to anybody and this relates to both guys and females so it's not just ladies imagine you're just giving your body out to anybody it doesn't really show that you value and appreciate yourself you need to how do i put this thing you need to value you need to value your body to the point that you would say if at all i'm giving my body to anybody it has to be someone that is worth it someone that i would rest i'll be rest assured to say okay i gave this person my body and i don't regret it someone that has paid the price you don't want guilt right you don't want to start you know especially for like believers and you know non-believers as well you don't want guilt you don't want um you don't want to start you know I, I actually want to leave this person but because i'm giving him my body i cannot leave or oh because... yeah sorry about that i had to like adjust my camera okay, so this um virginity thing itself just make this better so being a virgin in itself it's not old school there's nothing wrong with you it's just something that you should pride yourself in even if like something has happened in the past and you've had sex or one thing one thing has happened you can still decide to keep yourself you can still decide to say oh i'm not going to do this until i find the right person like find the right person and get married right not just finding the right person just because this person feels right and is not married to me i didn't give him my body no not that you find the right person and gets married to this person then i can give him my body so because um virginity thing in itself is not as um you know pronounced and as common as you know the days of our parents like back then or for those people that studied like um you know this traditional marriage then your bad traditional marriage or any other type of traditional marriage where you know you and your spouse will go in they'll give you guys like a white um handkerchief and you know they'll say they should um get intimate and then you know bring out the white handkerchief so because it's not like that look because it's no longer like that doesn't mean that it is old school it's something you should cherish like it's still something that you should be proud of it's still something that you should accept right the bible is against it right the bible is against it and most of the things the bible is against is not for god benefit it is for our benefits can imagine praying and having pictures or having guilt and you're not able to approach god because you feel like you've done something wrong because you feel like something has happened and shouldn't and you shouldn't have let that happen it's not for god's benefits it's not like god is god created it right so it's not for his benefits the more reason why he's telling us to abstain the reason he's telling us to abstain is for our good right so that when you are seeing something wrong in a relationship that you don't like you can carry your leg and go nothing has tied me and you together i don't have any business you don't have any business with me i'm fine i will go and this is not to say that because you've had sex with someone and the person is misbehaving you cannot go that's a topic for another day but i'm just focusing on this right now let's even put out the fact of guilt and all those things you would also want to have like peace for my type of person i like peace of mind very well like i like peace of mind you don't want to be bothered about oh std no std what if what if that what if what no no this is our necessary unnecessary problems that we just want to give ourselves lastly virginity is not only for ladies because you know it's very interesting to see that some people just think that it's for ladies guys can also abstain they can decide to keep themselves not that all oh, ladies can be virgins no please guys also keep yourself right keep yourself your body is also a gold the bible did not specify women be virgin men be non-virgin no it shouldn't be that oh it's just the woman we should be looking hard so she's not a virgin there's a problem I don't understand I was not a guy that also this virgin her so why i mean also saying that the guys should be virgin so i'm um, a um party of both people should decide to keep themselves it's not particularly it's not for a, a, a gender right it's not it's not for a, a gender i think i'll bring this video to an end now because i don't think i have enough space on my phone <laughs> But yeah, I'll bring this video to an end and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Alright, bye guys.